Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I'm going to show you how to capture the Wolfman alive on the 5 star bounty. And the Wolfman is a new legendary bounty that came out today. And at 5 stars, it's going to be the most challenging one. You have to take him alive. If he dies, it automatically fails. So let's read his poster here. Proclamation of the Governor of Amberino. Wanted to be captured alive, the Wolfman. Have you seen him? Seen near Lake Isabella. His baptismal name is unknown at this time, but he is wanted for a string of murders. He has for many years lived with a pack of wolves and is considered extremely dangerous. Carrying predator bait is advised. Rewards paid in full on return. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to capture this guy and I'm going to give you guys some general tips. So now let's get started and let's watch the first cutscene. The Wolf Man. You heard about him? Sounds like a tall tale, don't it? A man living up there with the wolves. I wish it was. He's a real life monster and one that needs hunting down and. <laughs> well, one of the two ways it can go. Go up to Lake Isabella and look around those parts. You don't freeze to death. You might just find him. Be warned, though. Like most things wild, I expect he'll be skittish. His wolves, on the other hand, might not be. <laughs> okay, so when you first start this mission, you're going to notice there's going to be a storm. Every single time I start up the level 5 mission, there's going to be a storm. But anyways, uh, I recommend doing this mission in the daytime, because if you do this mission at the nighttime, it's actually going to be a lot more harder. Let me show you guys a few seconds of nighttime here. This is what it's like if you start this mission during nighttime, so it's going to be a lot harder to look for him, a lot far harder to navigate up here. So I just personally recommend doing it in the daytime. You can do this mission solo, but I was doing it with a friend here. And to find him, it's actually pretty easy. He's going to be in three areas. It's random, depends on what location he's in. But what I like to do is I like to follow this first path up here. You guys see this path? I'm going down right up here as I spawn. As I come right down the hill, I go up this path. I follow this path all the way around. And when I follow this path all the way around, I'm going to see basically this first cave coming up. And while you're going through here, you're going to be seeing a lot of wolves. I just like to ignore them because there's a lot of wolves in this in this level, but I just like to outrun them. Sometimes they'll catch up to you. If they do, just shoot them all dead. Use a repeater or a bolt action rifle. I personally recommend a repeater. I was using a bolt action rifle here, but I regretted it. I should have been using a repeater. You're gonna, you guys are gonna see that a little later. But anyways, go around the side here, and once you go around here, you'll be seeing the cave. And sometimes he will be spawning here, and on this case, he will be spawning here. And he will be attacked by a bear. There will be a bear right here, so make sure you kill the bear first before you even lasso him. And right in here, there he is. Okay, now we're just going to kill this bear, get rid of that bear pretty quickly. We don't want to deal with that. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to go over and lasso him. And now here's a warning. This is what happens on the level 5 mission. On this mission, the moment that you lasso him and you tie him up, you have a lot of waves of wolves spawn. And these wolves do not appear on your radar, so they'll be coming from random directions. I personally recommend just getting on your horse and just trying to get away from them. I didn't really have enough time to get on my horse here, so I had to deal with them. My friends started shooting them, and this is where the repeater and the rifle comes in. Just go for headshots. I almost got killed right here because I got surrounded by so many wolves, but as you guys see, I ended up taking out the repeater, and then what I started doing is I just kept hip firing, and kept hip firing all of them, got a bunch of kills on them. Okay, we got most of the wolves right here. Okay, so you kill a bunch of the wolves, and then once you, you get those wolves, you put them on your horse, and then that's pretty much it for the mission, you just deliver him. You'll still have a bunch of wolves chasing you, but there's no other enemies that you really have to deal with in this level. It's actually a lot more simple. And you apparently have two drop-off locations. You can either drop him off in Coulter, or you can drop him off at the bottom of the mountain, um, the less snowy part. I'm going to show you that. But originally, my map said Coulter, but I want to show you guys the other locations first. I want to show you guys the other locations that he can spawn in. So that path that I originally showed you, just follow that... Follow that around, and if he's not in that cave, then what you want to do is you want to keep moving up. Let me show you guys this area right here. He was actually in this area the first time I did it. 
there's this little campsite right up this hill and you'll no notice the path it kind of ends there's one way where it goes up the rest of the mountain and then one one where it ends right here and he can actually be up here a lot of times so he was here in the other instance and you get him here and let me show you the other location the other location I don't have footage of this one but earlier he was actually also here he was actually right near this house so you can actually catch him right near this house and if you guys are looking at the map right here this is actually a map of the three locations that I found him in I believe that these are them I don't think there's more than them I could be wrong on that but I've done this mission probably six seven times now and I've always found him in those three locations so I use this map to try to find him and at the end of the mission there's also one more thing that you got to watch out for now regardless of the location that you deliver him to if you deliver him at the bottom of the mountain or if you deliver him to Coulter you can still get attacked by the bear the bear will always spawn at the end of the mission so you got to watch out for this bear it can actually block your road and it actually knocked my friend off his horse and almost killed him here so just be ready for that bear right when you're about to end the mission know the bear will spawn just open fire open fire on the bear of everything you have kill the bear and just end the mission deliver him right there and you get paid for it so that's pretty much the end of the wolfman there i hope that you guys found this video helpful and when the other legendary bounties come out i'll also make videos on how to get them with five stars this one was actually pretty easy it was actually much easier than barbarella i was actually surprised the level five mission was not that difficult but again if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like and if you're new to my channel enjoy my content subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care everyone